Say hey, Cherish. This is me dropping the kiddos off. I gotta hey. drop them off so I can go to the salon. So, mm. hold on, let me do my intro. So, this is October 2020. This video might be up in November, I'm not completely sure. Around this time, two years ago, I had got my hair completely cut. I got a big chop, and today I'm going to get a shape and um, a trim. Just a curly cut, just so I can get it done professionally. I got it done professionally last time. It was cool, but I had to come home and cut some more parts off. But this time I went to a stylist that specialized in natural hair. So I decided to go to a different stylist this time that specializes in natural hair. So, sorry y'all, your girl needs a fill in, okay? These been lasting though, it's been like two and a half weeks. But um, anyway, so yeah, like, excuse me, I'm vlogging from my phone and then I record at home when I, when I, you know, go home. But girl, I am so happy. I am so happy to get my hair trimmed. I wasn't going to do it at first because I'm like, I'm trying to save money, this, that, and the third. I'm trying to save money, but then I was like, forget that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, forget that because... Sometimes it's good to treat yourself. You feel me? Sometimes it's good to treat yourself. You feel me? So I'm just like, why not treat myself? Uh, being the best wife I can be. I've been the best mother I can be. So why not treat yourself? You know? So yeah, it looked like I'm looking sideways, but I'm looking straight. I'm looking straight. I promise y'all I am looking. I am looking straight at the camera. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So yeah, y'all take this ride with me. I, my next clip will be at the salon. I'm going to show y'all the salon, okay? Hey guys, so this is the next day and I had to put the footage on mute because it had a song playing in the background and I didn't want to get copyrighted by YouTube. So long story short, I was telling her how I got my last professional cut in 2018. So I wanted to get a professional cut this year, but I was also telling her that I was seeing breakage within parts of my hair. She was like, yeah, you just needed a trim really, really good. And she was telling me that I had to lose an inch and a half a hair because of how damaged my ends was. I decided from this day forward, I will go to a hairstylist. I will explain that more um, later on. In these clips, you're gonna see her detangling my hair and cutting my hair the best way I could capture it by myself with her. She had gave me a lot of good advice. Like she told me to make sure I get protein treatments and to cut my hair every two to three months until my hair started to flourish the way I want it to be flourishing. It was hard to lose that much hair. Like you can see in my face that I was kind of sad, but I was happy leaving out of there because at the end of the day, you'd rather have healthy hair than damaged hair and i didn't have to leave with a lot of hair like an inch and a half of hair is not that bad to lose but it's not good i don't want to keep going through that every year so i'm deciding consciously to go to a stylist as much as i can so today i am showing you guys my twist right now um this is day two of this vlog and it looks like the length that I kind of ended off with last year, it looked like it went back to that length. I got one and a half inches cut off. And that was because my hair was breaking off so bad in the back of my hair, it did not make sense. Like it was just breaking off and I'm like, I need to get some help right now. It just seemed like with my methods that I was usually doing wasn't working. And so I decided to go to a beautician this time. And she washed my hair so good, y'all. I should have recorded it. I'm going to record it next time. 
when she wa when I go there to get a trim and show y'all how she washed my hair, bro. She did a phenomenal job. Like she massaged my head. She put essential oils on my head. Like they had options. You feel me? And it was like, what they got options? And then the thing is, I've never been to a shop where all the women specialize in natural hair. All of the beauticians specialize in natural hair. So like say if my beautician not there, she wouldn't even care if I go to somebody else because all of them specialize in natural hair. She cut my hair really, really good to be honest. Like she cut it all around. I just just clipped a little I just clipped a little bit more, just little pieces that was like hanging out. But other than that, she did a phenomenal job. I didn't feel like my hair was long on this side, short on this side. I didn't feel like it was uneven or anything like that. And honestly, only reason I'm sad because I'm like, dang, I was seeing growth. So I rather have healthy hair over length. To be honest, I feel like length is gonna come when it's come. I didn't seen it come, so I know it can come. Right now, this is my hair twist, and the products I used was these two products right here. I didn't show a tutorial of it. I'm on this thing where I'm trying to use up my stash, so I have bought new products, but I have not opened them. I'm not opening none of my new products until I use all my old products. So I'm gonna do my best to go to her consistently, cause natural hair. It costs, but I'm not about to keep being cheap with my hair. If I want to see the growth, I'm gonna have to spend some money. So I'm gonna just spend it, you know. And she also suggested I get a protein treatment because I do have colored hair. So she suggested I get a protein treatment. So I'm gonna get that too. And yeah, so this is how my hair look now. You know, it twists. So. I'ma just say this is a mini big shot because this is what it feel like. It feel like I'm starting over. It's not bad, you know. It's to my neck instead of to my it my hair used to be right here. Now it's just now it's to my neck. Like y'all, y'all understand I experienced so much breakage. Like I can't really show y'all because it's like in my scalp or whatever. It's like pieces right here that be like short. It's like short and long with the the back of my hair and I did not like it decided to seek a professional no so we're not you know you if you can take care of your hair go ahead and do that but this season I didn't do the best job this year wasn't it was it was okay but it wasn't the best so, so if you don't want to be like me and lose an inch and a half of hair do best to keep it trim now I know I need more trims instead of the trims I was getting I'll see y'all in the morning I'm gonna show y'all my hair in the morning can you get out my chair <laughs> no 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 mm -mm. no so this is how my hair looks the next day after I uh, took my hair down. So I took my hair down and I didn't try to spread it out as much as possible. I wanted as much definition as possible for this hairstyle. But I like the shape. The shape looks so amazing. Like it looks so good. Like so good. And yeah, like it looks amazing i'm trying not to uh touch my hair because i want the curls to last well this is the end of my video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this channel thank you guys for watching and coming through for your girl until next time take care of ourselves and each other and this is